Ah, oh, oh, I heard you now. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? How's it going with you? Well, crazy since yesterday. It's been crazy. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I'm like, I'm so proud of myself because I almost end up in the dish. Thanks God that a that, tow truck saved me. All right. And gonna cost me, gonna cost me a lot of money, but I'm happy. All right. <laughs> I'm well, happy that it didn't happen. Nothing else. All right. This is the first time, and I, oh my gosh. All right. Well, we about to get we we about to get into all of that right there, man. You 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 in the ditch and and everything. All right. Yes. So I, I just wanted I just wanted to introduce myself. The first thing I wanted to say yesterday, I I was in the ditch, but it just <laughs> I like to share our stories. But <laughs> okay. Hey, let okay. me let me let me. Now, my name wait, is wait, wait, Myra. Wait 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 wait. Hold on. We're we're not on yet. This this the prelim. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me let me. Okay. Let me let me let me, let me get you into the let me get you into the actual show, and then we can get it get it going. Uh, Myra, let me ask you this: you you do have a YouTube page, right? Ah uh, yes, I I opened it like uh, last year. What's what's the name of the YouTube page again? Okay, Fady, uh, Fady Wire, Fady Wire, Fate. on the road. What Fate, Fady? What? <laughs> like a fairy Tinkerbell. I don't know if you know what is Tinkerbell, but it's a fairy. Oh, fair. Okay, F. You know this thing like have wings. Fair, and, uh, fairy wire Peter Pan. on the yes. road. Let me see if I'm. Yes, but fairy wire is together. That was the, the is name it, of is my it, store. Is it, is it fairy wire? It's like a fairy, like, a, you know, Tinkerbell? Peter Tink Pan, Tinkerbell? Tinkerbell, yeah. Yes, this thing, yes, this thing that I have the wings. Okay. That's what and, I'm trying to say. The fairy. Okay. And fa <laughs> okay. I got the fairy part. What's the next word? Next word is wire, like wireless, but wire. What? W i r e. Yes. Okay. Fair. Okay. Like copper, like copper wire. Okay. Now, what's the next it's word? On the road. On the road. Okay. Hold on. Road. Uh, damn! I can't hold on. I still can't find it. Hold on, right quick. Is that all? One? Hold on, right quick. Hold on. If you want, you can put um Puerto Rican female choice. Oh, back. here it is. Here it is. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, hit that subscribe <laughs> button and hit that all. All right. So let me. All right. So hold on, right quick. Let me uh bring Hello, up. Guys. Let me bring up one of the video, uh, one of the videos, so I can introduce you into the, into the, uh, into the thingy, and just in it. Yeah, I'll get you in in a second. All right, bam. Okay, it just sounds like uh, dropping, picking up a trailer, and have to go to Laredo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. What's up, guys? Lockout men in the truck once again with another podcast interview for you guys. Now, this one right here is kind of special because I seen her content on her. I seen her content on her channel, and she got a very, very thick accent, and I and I like it. I like it. Let's go ahead and check this video out of her right quick. I can't even explain how bad it was. I was last night. I I couldn't even speak. I was <sighs> okay. I passed the entrance because truck are like blocking the entrance. And uh, another trucker, a uh, really nice trucker, told me that um, I should go like go around and try to to go back to the entrance because uh, it was like too many trucks so I had to keep driving and and I took the wrong turn I took the wrong turn 
Yeah, yeah. we're gonna talk we we gonna talk about that wrong turn. We're gonna talk about that wrong turn right there. Let me introduce you guys to Miss Mariah, Miss Ferry Ryer on the road. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. So how you doing this evening? Well, uh, I'm doing way better than yesterday. Uh, you say you're doing way better than yesterday. <laughs> yes, I, uh, we talked about that in the in the in the in the bump in the bumper, how you were stuck in the ditch and all like that, man. But you was able to get out of that with the with the help of a nice tow truck driver, huh? Yes. So that, and I was like, I was suffering because it was like leaning, and I, and I, okay, I my weight is one hundred fifteen, <laughs> and I was wishing to be like four hundred, so my my trailer stopped moving. <laughs> <laughs> so now you, now you, you don't so want you, so you don't you don't want to wish you you don't want to wish the trucker weight upon you. You you good at a if you at a hundred you you better stay at a hundred because this 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 food out here is no good for none of us man none of us Mariah you have oh, a tell me about it you have a very thick accent and I'm and I am sitting here just loving loving the way you speak and you just don't know how I'm, I'm <laughs> feeling right now by the way you speaking introduce yourself to my yes, listeners and uh, let I them don't know, know where some you're people from. like it some people. I get really annoyed. Yeah, and it's uh, hard. It's hard know. to it's hard to understand it. Yeah, you know, but it's cool though. It works for me. It's is 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 English. This English is not your first language. I take it. No, this no no. I think uh, I okay. My first language is the Spanish, and then I speak uh, Spanish, and sometimes I try to speak English. Oh, see right right now before <laughs> before you before you introduce yourself before you introduce yourself Mariah hit hit me with some of that Spanish speak right quick Oh, Spanish? Yeah, hit, hit Okay. Me, hit me with that. Oh, okay. Ayer uh, estaba guiando. Um entonces oh. eh, a donde fui a uh delivery este estaba muy lleno y después me metí en una carretera y esta carretera era tan angosta que cuando fui a doblar ah, por poco me caigo en el pozo y, y es en Dafit <laughs> I, I had a, I had a slightest idea what you said but you sound sassy saying it god damn it man Hold on, I gotta give you a round of applause for that Woo. Man. Oh, thank you, thank you. Man, she hit me off with she Don't hit me off with, she hit me off with that. Spanish. See, you got see you got the best of both worlds. So if you get like if if you get like a boyfriend or a significant other, and you get mad at that dude, you can hit him off with some Spanish, and he wouldn't even know what the hell you said to him. <laughs> oh yes, I will hit it with Spanish and French and Italian. When I got I like upset, I just start. Speaking different language. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and I, I bet you my I, I, bet you, I bet you my guy be sitting there like, damn, I don't know what you said, but I like it what you said it. So if you mad at me, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my yes, god. I, I, yes, I I used to uh one time I used to do something really wrong. Like really bad. I was behaving bad because some sometimes I uh people wanted to Inviting me to go dinner, and uh, I started saying that I didn't know how to speak English, and I said, "Oops, no, no English, no English, no." no. That, that's, no how, that's how no. you get away. You, no, you, no, no, entiendo. That's that's how you get away. <laughs> like if you get pulled over by the DOT or something like that, if you get pulled over by a cop or something like that, you can look up at him and be like, "No English, no English." <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. If I say that. It, that would be like a bad thing. Oh, that would be know, a bad thing. Then I'm gonna yes, I'm gonna be deported to oh, somewhere that I yeah, don't that's belong. Right. Yeah, that's right. You don't want yeah at the DOT or at the borders. Yeah, you better talk English. Oh no, no, <laughs> that that the food over there. I heard the food over there is bad. 
Yeah, you better you you better talk <laughs> English. I feel like the hell you going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mariah, in- introduce yourself to my listeners. Let them know where you come from. Okay, I came in 2006 with my daughter when she had nine years old and from Puerto Rico. And I was living in Tampa, Florida. And uh, my daughter, when my daughter uh, turned 19, she started doing like, um, she went backpacking mm-hmm. South America. So I was so stressed that I, I started doing road trip and I met a lot of truckers and they say, if you like to drive, you should be a truck driver. And I say, no, I cannot buy that thing. <laughs> and I was right. Okay, okay. Your daughter, no. your daughter's 19? May I, may I ask? Uh, no, well, it's, when she was 19, I have, I'm going to turn 50 years old. I love Kate, just in case if someone uh, see me on the road. I love Kate and Baker. Wait, so wait, I'm gonna wait, turn wait, 50. Mariah, Mariah, you, oh my God, you're, you're going to be 50? 50 years old on me. Five zero. Yes, My, it's what I said. Hold on, Mariah. You, I'm. My God, what are you doing? You don't look fifty. Uh, you look like you in your thirties, girl. You look good out yes, here. Yes, everybody get confused, and, and and that's bad because some people like some some boys like. Okay, I have two sons in the army. And one half 30 and the another half 29. And uh, sometimes uh, some boys start hitting me. I say, oops, stop right there. I have 50 years old, okay? Not interested. <laughs> oh, my God. You do not look You do not look 50. I, I kid you not. You do not look 50. You look, well, I, I got to tell you, you, you age well. I got to give it to you. You have age well because you do not look 50. I'm 50. I am 50. You know, a lot of people be like, no, you don't look 50, bro. Yeah, yeah, I do. You, you just don't see the gray. Yeah, no, no, you don't look, you don't, no, see, you don't look either like no, 50. No, 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 I'm 50. You, you you just don't see the gray. I'm 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 fifty, but you no you know you know fifty no fifty. How's uh? How- yes, uh, I have a, I I have my license with me, and and, you say, <laughs> and I know you say I don't you know what pro- you what I you, see. You say you uh, you say you can prove it. <laughs> you say you can prove that you. 50 yes, I can then. prove it. <laughs> how was yes. life, How how was life like in Puerto Rico? Um, hard, like it was hard. It wasn't that hard, but it was hard because Puerto Rican mom, I'm like completely and totally crazy. So, you know, they're going to beat you up a lot and they're going to, oh, did I say beat you? Yes, mm-hmm. they're going to keep beating you until you get married. So, <laughs> so you got, so, so yeah. you got, so you got mm-hmm. three, so you got three kids. You got, you got two sons that's in the military and a daughter. Yes. Uh, my older son is a veteran from Iraq and he's been in Afghanistan. My younger son has been in Afghanistan three times and he's come back again to Afghanistan in July. And uh, my daughter, she uh, she, she has twenty two, but my older son is gonna turn thirty one in on May. Okay, two. so how? So and you I got, have six grandkids. So you got so you got four kids all together. No, no, I what? have three. Oh, but you got My three. older son is almost thirty one. Oh, yes. okay, okay, it's okay. Almost thirty one, but and I be- say thirty one. He's almost thirty one. All right, and between and and between the three kids, you got six grandkids that 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 came out of that. Yes. All right, Mariah. Well, and the the older half eleven, and the oldest one. I was I was a grandma at thirty seven. Oh, okay, okay. So. So Mariah, what what um what 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 compels you to get into trucking? What what compels you to be a truck driver? Well, um, I was doing road trip, like I said. Uh, yeah, 
I was living in truck stop in this area, so I met a lot of truck truckers, and they. Sometimes I was in Chicago or Tennessee, and they asked me, where do you live? Oh, I live in Tampa, Florida. I say, what? Mm -hmm. Did you drive over here? I say, yes. And uh, I don't know. They they said I should be become a truck driver. Yeah, to become then a truck driver and see uh, all the world, see the entire world. <laughs> you doing it now. Yes, because I was doing, like, uh, every weekend I was doing road trips. So one day uh, I was joking about it and I told someone, I think I'm going to become a truck driver. And that person said, you, a truck driver, okay, look, you are five feet, two inches, and 100 pounds. <laughs> and I said, and he said, you're not going to make it. I said, okay, I take it. That's a challenge and I like it. You, you, he said that he said that you was a five foot nothing. He said you was a five foot nothing and a buck. <laughs> you're not gonna make. You, you're not gonna make two inches and a half. Don't you, forget that. You're not gonna. You're not gonna make it in this industry. You is not gonna make it in this industry. Let me ask you this: While we on that, how do you feel about being a female in a dominated industry? In a male well, dominated industry. It, it, yes, it's um, in the beginning, it was kind of hard. In the beginning, it was kind of hard because, I don't know, people say that I have an accent. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> but but um, it was challenging because every time that I came out of my truck, that said, they say, what in the world? What is that? So everybody saw that I was like 18 or something like that. And... Uh, and I, it was, I was really bad in my back end. My back end just was so bad, it wasn't even funny. It was so bad. I was, it was bad. <laughs> I never bagged my Versa. Like, never. I said, why I have to bag a car if I have straight parking? So, then try to bag the trailer was, uh, was really hard for me. So how long? How long you? In my channel, my channel is not for everyone because I curse so much that it's not even funny. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm That's, trying to be fake. Don't don't I'm worry about. I'm trying to be here. Don't don't worry about. Don't worry about that. Your channel is your channel, and you do whatever you want to uh, want to do on your channel. But let me tell you guys before we continue on the the opinions and uh, views expressed. On the uh, on the guest that's here today is her views, not the views of Lockout Men or Lockout Men podcast. I just want to get that out there. Anyway, um, oh man, what's so so you so your backing that your backing right there? You consider that would be the hardest thing that you that you face uh, in trucking right now? How long you been driving? Uh, that was yes. That was the uh, the hardest thing. Uh, but thanks God, I getting better and better. And uh, takes practice. Of course, yesterday I ended up in the ditch, and I'm not really proud of myself. But uh, tow truck saved me, so uh, I cannot complain. That's what's up. It's always a it, it, it's all, practice makes better. You know what I'm saying? As long as you every everybody's not going to get back in. I don't care what nobody say. You could be you could be a trucker for like 20, 30, umpteen years. There's going to always be a situation that you're going to never have faced before. And it's going to be a little maybe a little struggle. You know what I'm saying? But everybody going to have uh, going to have problems with backing. Um, what's 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 in your opinion, Mariah? What's the hardest thing women face in, in, in the trucking industry? Uh, the hardest thing? Um, let me think about this. Uh, well, I don't know. In the beginning, um, sometimes, sorry guys, but sometimes truckers are not nice. But not all of them, but some of them are not really, not, are not that nice yeah some, some, some. <laughs> and uh yes for me because i really enjoy everything about 
be living in the truck or on the road. Um, for me, the weather. It's, it's not, uh, the cold is just really bad for me, but that's the only thing. Yeah, coming up, and com- coming up from, coming up from Florida, I would imagine the weather will be, will be a culture shock for you. Yes, because I grew up in Puerto Rico. I, I born in Camden, New Jersey, but I grew up in Puerto Rico and over there cold is 75. And it's that <laughs> is really cold. You said over there cold is 75. That is just, you see everybody with a sweater and, and sick. Oh my and god! Just shaking. This is so cold. Se- seventy-five is cold over there. Uh-uh. Seventy-five. We be yes. over here in the states. We just be happy to hit seventy. You know what I'm saying? Wow. That's, yes, I know. That's crazy. So how how long you been how long you been truck driving? Okay, I went to prime school in September 2018. I got my CDL in uh, October. I okay. went in CNC trainer. I finished my CNC trainer in December. Mm-hmm. Um, I upgrade in December. I went team, but then I went solo. I went team for a month, and mm-hmm. then I went solo. All right, so you mentioned Prime. Okay, Prime. Oh, I, I, I shouldn't say that. Nah, nah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Prime is, it, it, whatever, whatever the case may be for anybody that feels any kind of way about Prime. Prime is a good, is a good starter company, especially there. You know, if you want to get your CDLs or something like that, try Prime first and see what they can do for you. So, what was your experience uh, throughout throughout the whole uh, getting your license process? Well, my experience, I didn't, I, uh, the biggest thing that I drove ever was the Tacoma. Was so it? your Tacoma, that what? was the biggest thing I ever drove. Was so it? So when I. Was it what? Wait, uh-huh. wait, 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 the biggest, biggest thing that, what? Okay. I always drove a car. Right. When I can, I see it in this truck, I, I almost have like a. Uh, heart attack I say no I'm not gonna make oh. it oh okay so <laughs> uh, it was really scary in in the beginning oh okay okay how many how many people how, how many people was in your class uh when you when you oh when wow you started? um I will say that was almost uh 85 90 85 yes like 85 or 90 and but but um, I mean, in one or two days, they like twenty five of them disappear. Oh, okay, they started we they started weeding yes. them out. Okay, well, you know, the first thing you had to do drug test, mm-hmm. and then you had to do the next thing. Mm-hmm. So, those like almost twenty five or thirty, just they didn't even pass the first phase. Wow. <laughs> But uh, you, I mean, if you're gonna go to something like this, you should—I don't know—I'm not gonna say nothing because I don't want no one to hit me. Mm-mm, no, don't worry about it. You, you good. <laughs> you good to go. You good to go. But damn, damn it, man, 90, 90, 90 people in—that's crazy. So during the training, during the during the training phase, how how was your experience with the trainers there? Was what did you had a good experience? Well, um, the trainer in the past, they were super nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, my first trainer, he he was the guy from Florida, but he got, uh, it, his truck was with the stick, and I, I did it, mm-hmm. but I didn't want to do it. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the guys said, okay, look, you are the only one here doing this. In the whole week, you are the best. I said, yes, but I can I just, I prefer automatic. No, no, but you are doing it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but I don't like it. He said, is, is that that you don't like it? And I told him, well, let's be honest. I'm 48. This thing hurts. Uh, and then they say, okay, no problem. You're going to have uh, automatic, automatic truck. 
So, yeah. so you, so of course you tested out in an automatic then, right? Yes. The first, the first time I tested in the manual, but I, I changed it for automatic. All right, so you probably might have uh, automatic restrictions on your license, but that's, but still, you you know how to drive a manual. I mean, I I would have, uh, me, I would have probably suggested you to uh, t test out in a manual so that it would it would your opportunities will be you know will be open a little bit wider. But if you're comfortable in the automatic, that's cool too. You know, I'm I tested it out in the manual, but I'm comfortable in the automatic. But I still wanted to get my manual because I didn't want to be restricted. But uh, but uh, but Prime. So every, so your experience with the trainers there was a good one. You didn't have no no controversy or anything like that with uh with the trainers at Prime. <clears throat> with my trainer, uh, TNT trainer. Yes. Well, no, he, well, he, no sexual harassment at all. Mm -hmm. Like, not, like, no. He, he, he was sleeping all the time. So, mm -hmm. I guess. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I pretty much, I, I, I don't know if I, I don't want to say, but, no, you know, you, you don't he, have... he, he, he likes to sleep. He likes to sleep. All right, so yes, at least love it. at least he did the damn thing to get you to get you through. So now you're so now you're solo. You're you solo dolo. How was it your how, how was it your very first time in the truck by yourself? I I well to be honest, I was about to be myself, and I was so scared because I spent almost two months and a half with my trainer. Mm -hmm. But I he I never back like I I back like three times and then he say when you got your own truck you can practice so I was I was completely terrified I say no okay that's what's up I was terrified but I say I had to option quit or make it happen so I guess I. I like it to nah, make you, it happen. You have to make it happen. This is this this is something that you want to do. You know what I'm saying? This is something that you want to do, and you 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 have to make it happen. Truck driving is is not easy, and basically, it's not for everyone. But if you want to get in it and and make it happen, you definitely uh definitely make it happen, man. So so work so driving at Prime. So are you a company driver with the company, or you're you? They they bumped you up the lease too. No, I'm company driver. Okay, okay. So being so yes. So be, so being <laughs> when a, I left the TNC, yes, when I left the TNC, I didn't have any uh, experience in backing, so it would be like a little down mm -hmm. of me to go lease. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I went company until I. Until I learned how to back, and then it's just that uh, my fleet manager and all the dispatcher are so freaking nice that I don't know. I want to keep them, and if I go list, I I'm not gonna have them. Okay, so what? So what? What have you? What What have you uh, done before trucking? I mean, what What was some of the What was some of the career choices you had before trucking? Well, in Puerto Rico, I used to work in sales all my life. Mm -hmm. I used to sell uh, tiles and uh, marble. And then when I came over here, uh, I if you think I have an accent, I, I barely speak English. Okay. All I want is, uh, all I know how to say is just when I was hungry, you know, all the name of the food I wanted in English. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. it. So I went to work in the factory, uh, plantation factory, mm -hmm. and um, then uh, I was working. In, I was living in a apartment complex, and they offered me a housekeeper job to keep all the apartment clean. Mm -hmm. And 
I used to live in the same complex and I had to get ready all the apartments for everybody to come and live in them. It was a really hard job, but I I was living in the same complex and okay. I didn't have to drive nowhere. It, it was uh it was really good money. Okay, okay, that's what's up. All right, so so being a so being a female truck driver out here, what what was some what's some of the ups and downs that you uh that you that you probably came across while while driving? Well, uh, to be honest, I I saw, I mean, because for uh for the movies that you watch, you for the movies that you watch, I thought that uh Talking will be more like uh, everybody will be more like like a family, mm-hmm. like you know, like hey, how you doing? Or everybody will be like really friendly, and uh, but then I see it's like really stressful for the most of the people out here, and uh, yes, it, it was. I know. I, I don't know. I, I saw everybody would be like, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, it, I don't even know what to say. It's, it's just like a war. It's, it's you <laughs> know trucking. You know I. You know, I I thought, you know, coming up, watching all these old school trucking movies and all like that, you see the brotherhood. You see the, you see the, uh, you know, you see the, you know, the. The, the camaraderie, you know what I'm saying? Truckers helping truckers and you know, you don't you don't have yes. that. You don't have that right now. You know what I'm saying? You got, you know, the day and the day and age of of social media has turned the whole trucking field upside down. You know, you got truckers out here take whipping out their camera phones and and taking videos of, of other trucker struggles and and putting it up on 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 Facebook and in groups like Twisted Trucker and and look at this truck yes, driver uh, over here uh, troubles they did and all that like that. To me. They did they did that to me. <laughs> yeah, so you know it's 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 crazy that uh you know that the camaraderie between truckers is is just not here anymore. You know, and it's kind of and it's kind of worse for women. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you got some truckers out here that's trying to you know that's trying to uh. Well, well, how can I say it? They they try to googly eye you, try to try to say that you're not supposed to be in the business. <clears throat> it's trying to say that you you're not good enough. You know, this is a man's world and all like that. What do you say to What do you say to uh, What do you say to the males that come up to you and say well, you, you're not supposed I, to be I in this business? I'm gonna tell you one experience, uh, two experiences, but I but I almost get beat up. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. First, the first thing, a couple of times, uh, the people say, come back to my country mm-hmm. uh, because they think I'm illegal or immigrant or something like that. Mm-hmm. But another time, uh, someone says, oh. okay, someone said, you should be in the kitchen cooking. Mm. And I say, well, I don't know how to cook. But you know, I know how to drive this thing, <laughs> and I think, yes, he he didn't like it. He didn't like it. He oh, almost he did. beat me. Oh, he didn't like. He, he didn't like <laughs> and I that. Said, yeah, he didn't. No, he didn't like that because I, I, it was sarcasm. But I mean, I offered that for free. I said, well, I don't know how to cook. It's a lie. I know how to cook, but you know, I said I don't know how to cook, but I know how to drive this thing. Um, yes. That's how you, that's how you I get to, it. Yes, I have to hide. I have to hide. <laughs> yes, and that. another day, um, you know, they speak up that they just are uh, hauling like truck, uh, cars or something like that. Hot shop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the guy gets so mad at me because I, I went to, for a truck wash and then I, uh, my trailer was in the street, so I had to go a little bit. And he he gets so mad at me, and uh, I was uh, he was you fucking loser. Oh my bad, I said, but I was no, I was repeating what he said, and it, it, it's a lot of f and f this and f that and f this. 
and then he say, come back to your F country, and I smile because I was about to say he and I'm Puerto Rican, and then he said that he's going to erase my smile with it. And he's going to slap my face and erase my smile. So I thought what? this is a good time to go to my truck. So I went to my truck. <laughs> what? You, Mariah, you, let me ask you this. Um, I, I, I'm kind of hoping that that this is not a regular thing, but you, you, you do have some type of protection, right? Yes, I pray. <laughs> Okay, well, you, I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about more than pray. <laughs> you know, praying is good. Praying is always good, but yes. protection is a lot better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, as long as... as yes, as, I understand. As well, long as you I, have it. As long as, 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 long as you have, have some, it. Yes, I have some protection, uh, okay. but I, I, I have my own rules, and I have too many rules, and so I don't go out at night. I I do a lot of stuff that don't put myself in danger. I I go outside if the only way I go outside at night is I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter because I always have a lot of food over here. Okay, that's what's up. As long as as long as you as hold on, right quick. As long as you as as long as you uh, uh, as long as you is protected. You know, that's that's basically all I care about because I don't want to see any women. You know what I'm saying? Especially women in trucking. You know, this this is you know, this is of course, this is a male dominated field, but I don't want to see any women out here being degraded or be assaulted for any reason. You know what I'm saying? Because because of how another trucker may feel may or may, may or may not feel about you, you know, if. If you got the fortitude to come out here and drive and sacrifice your life, um, and sacrifice your time, just like what a guy can do, then by all means, come and do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the, don't let another guy come up in, into you and be like, yo, uh, you can't do this. You need to go home. You need to be barefoot and pregnant. No, nah, no, nah, bro. This is this is 2020. This is the new millennium. Women got rights just like men got rights. You got some you got some super trucker men out yes. there and you got some super trucker women out here. So definitely I yes, definitely uh, care one about one time one time I was in the truck stop waiting for a shower mm -hmm. and it was this group of guys and one of them started saying that uh, uh women come to truck in, they think I truck drivers, but they don't know how to change a tire. They don't know how to fix the spark. Oops, I cursed a lot, but I just repeated what he said. And they they think they are truck drivers, but they are not. And mm -hmm. so in my channel, I always say I'm not a truck driver. I just drive this shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Speaking of channels, man, let's uh, let's talk about uh, let's let's talk about your YouTube channel for a little bit. Uh, how how long did you did you start your channel when you came on with Prime? Did Prime do Prime have to book a YouTube? Well, I uh, I started doing um, YouTube because I was I was getting like. A little like bored and waiting in the dark or waiting for the door. Mm -hmm. So I started doing YouTube uh, to to send to my family. It was easy to record a video and then send a link. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and uh, and I told I said, well, it's million of channel in YouTube. No one is gonna watch my videos. So then I changed. I started doing in English. And, uh, well, people start, like, uh, subscribing. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I just, I'm not teaching nothing. It's just, it just uh, all I do is just tell what I do in the day or I curse a lot and, and more cursing. And, uh, <laughs> and sometimes I make jokes and rant. I made a rant for Justin. You have to watch that one. Okay. So YouTube so so YouTube is sorta of like a sorta of like a 
therapy. Therapy for you. You know, you come on, yeah. you come on YouTube, you talk, uh, you know, you talk to your family, your friends, and then you come, you know, come to find out you get a little bit of people watching and now you got more people watching. Now you got 400 subscribers watching and it just keeps going on and on and on. I notice in your, in, in, in your YouTube that you don't, you, you don't put prime in your in, in your title you you don't have you don't have prime in any of, of in, in any of your uh titles is there is there a reason why you don't say like female uh female truck driver and then have prime ink on the side of it is there <laughs> yes. is there a reason I, I try i try to yes i try to keep a low profile and uh because um another i it's Another female truck driver um, that I I watched a video that another female truck driver it was saying like uh, another woman is just cursing and I felt like okay in this case I gonna erase prime from my title because mm -hmm. I don't want to um, I don't want to. Okay, I, I curse a lot, so I don't want to damage the image of Prime. Mm -hmm. But not for any, uh, any other end. Another reason is because it's a lot of people looking for Prime, so they're going to find me, and all I do is just jokes. And uh, uh, things that happen every day, and uh, a lot of cursing, and things like that. I, I don't teach nothing. Oh, okay. I can teach. Uh, I I don't even know nothing. <laughs> so how do you? So how do you? So do let me ask you this: Do do Prime have any type of influence on you on your channel? I, I'm sure they. I'm sure they know that you know some of their drivers do YouTube and all like that, and some you know some. Of course, Prime have a have a social media marketing or something like that. So do they, do, do prime have any type of influence on you as far as your YouTube goes? Uh, no, I, um, I also, um, I also remove my prime because I, uh, like I said to my subscriber, I am not a recruit, a recruiter. I'm not a trainer. I just here. I work for my company. I love the company, but I'm not here to earn money. I'm just here to make fun videos and show. I got a goal. My goal was that I would love to to show women of my age mm -hmm. that you can do whatever you want. That you don't have to be like afraid. If you want to do something, just do it. That's what's up. And, uh, and since a lot of Prime trucking uh, channel, it's a lot of people. And uh, uh, it's, I don't know. It's a war in YouTube. Trucking channel, YouTube war. So I just want to stay away from this. I got you. You, you know what I you know what I I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying because a lot of people a lot of a, a lot of it seems as though that a lot of drivers that works for Prime, a lot of drivers that that <coughs> that has worked in the past for Prime, they they all got YouTube channels. And I I I, I always come and say that Prime has the book of YouTube. <laughs> I always say that it's like yeah. every it's like it's every truck so driver many. it's like every truck driver has the book of YouTube. It's like when they come on, they say, "Yo, yada yada yada." Here, I drive for Prime, and then you got the Prime Inc. in their in their titles, and they got the they got their driver codes in the in the description and all like that. Yo, I got I got a Prime video, and, yes, uh, I, and, and, and uh, it's, it's what I was trying to explain. To my subscriber, I say, and I'm going to use Prime to earn subscribers because this is not a Prime channel. This is my channel, and I speak in it, do whatever I want, and I don't get paid for that. And I hope I don't get fired for that either. But I, I'm happy with my job and everything, but I don't want to use Prime. You know to, what? That's, that's, 
that's that's subscriber be- or that, to make money. That is beautiful that you say that because a lot of a lot of drivers now, now I fell in I, now don't get me wrong I fell into that uh, into that before because when I was with uh, J and R Swoogle I used my channel to pro- <clears throat> to promote the company and of course I made money off of it you know I made I became their unofficial ambassador of the company and of course i brought drivers in i made a lot of money from it and um and it's beautiful to hear uh, a driver of your magnitude to come on and say hey you know i'm not going to mention prime or i'm not going to i'm not going to put prime in my titles or anything like that because it's 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 not about prime over here it's not about prime it's about me my little <clears throat> me my little journey and um and it is what it is so yeah salute to you and as a matter of fact salute to your two sons man tell them i said thank you for their service <laughs> thank you so much yeah definitely yes, I, uh, yeah sometimes say uh someone asking me is oh you remove it because friends didn't run to you i say no but I wanted to keep uh, I wanted to keep uh, low profile because it's too many prime channels, mm-hmm. and uh, you know sometimes people just get jealous. Yeah, and then they get like you, you, envy and you know stuff you, like that. You 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 mentioned that you you mentioned that keyword jealousy. I was in a <coughs> I was in. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, man. I was in somebody's live feed. I can't remember who it was, but a comment came through. Uh, a comment came through in the live feed that says something to the fact that uh, lockout men should come and work for Prime because he talks about Prime a lot, and I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm like, really? Like, okay. I mean, I, I I can't help it if some of the some of the guests that I have on my show are are either prime drivers or or uh, or former prime drivers. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, I I just I I just send a reach out. I'm not reaching out to them because they drive for prime or they have driven for prime. It's not even about that. So I was kind of taken aback when that comment came through. And I'm over here like, huh, okay. Like cursing. I, I, was, I would be cursing, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, it just, okay. Yeah. Also, also, it's, it's not me, but it's just like a competition. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm, I'm not competing because. It's not too many Hispanic women, mm-hmm. and uh, Puerto Rican women. Uh, I think <coughs> I just know three. Mm-hmm. It's probably more, but I I just only know three. Okay, yeah. See, that, that that's another thing too. You know, you come, you type in Prime, and you got everybody that's that's jockeying for for that same viewer. You know what I'm saying? That that same that one viewer. It's watching everybody, you know, and you got you got everybody that's in their channels like, yo, here, hit me. Make sure you make sure you uh, use my driver code or use or take me. Make sure you use my driver code and all like that. But it's a refreshing <laughs> to come to come and meet a person of your magnitude. That like, look, I'm not even I'm not about the 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 camaraderie or the or the or the uh what do you call it um try to try to jockey for position to get people to come over to prime so i can uh so i can you know make money you know your channel is fresh your channel <coughs> your channel is fresh yes, you know uh, what i'm saying i i in one of my video uh i explained that i i'm not here to make you to tell you that prime is what you need mm-hmm. because I don't know you. I don't know your needs. Mm-hmm. And 
time works for me, but it doesn't doesn't mean that it's going to work for everyone. Exactly. So I don't want nobody to come and say, oh, you sent me to Prime and it didn't work and you lied to me. And no, and, and I avoided this thing. I said, work for me. What if you can, you can go whatever place you, you want. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have no problem over here, but I'm not selling nothing because I don't work in sales. And I'm not a recruiter. And I'm not a trainer. And I make money. I, I didn't came to you to, to make money. I just, it's just a therapy when I stress. In a, or a half a rant or something like that. So I just make a video. Well, that's what's up. All right. So enough of Prime, man. We 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 talked to Prime. We talked about Prime just enough. Uh, <clears throat> let's uh let's get back let's get back to you for a second. So are you um so what's uh what's your status right now? Are you are are, are you married? Are you single? You 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 you're what? Uh yes, I'm married with um trucking. Ma- are you married? <laughs> Yes. Uh, my truck. Uh, I just married my truck, and he, is, he treat me so good. Oh, <laughs> uh, you say you married to your truck? Oh, that is so good. Hold yes. on, right quick. Yes. <laughs> oh man, you say your truck do not cheat on you. Yo, yo, Chud, don't no, step out no. outside. Yeah, it, no, it gets you from point A to point B. That's all you need. <laughs> no, he, he never argue. Never. You never and argue. Whatever I said. Never. No, never. Never argue and never talk back. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing. It's, it's, All right, it's like the best husband that I ever have in my life. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Okay, okay. Let me get let me get that thought out my mind. Let me get that thought out. The de- yo, let me just. Whoop. Yes, I just. I, I, I mean, it, it's. Oh my God! It's hot. My my truck is hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, we yeah we we gonna get off we gonna get off that subject right there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What about, what about that? Yes, uh huh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Married to your truck. Okay, that's what's up. So yeah. So how trucking, often, trucking, and, and trucking my truck and everything. Yeah, I, I hear you. How often? And I'm faithful. I'm faithful. You said you. <laughs> You say you're faithful to that bad boy too. I was. Of course. That, that bad boy making I you money. I get so much love. It's not even funny. <laughs> uh, Mariah, I gotta ask you something right quick, man. What do you? What, what do you? Now you know this. Uh, this Corona. This this Corona thing. Uh, I, I need to know your. The I need coronavirus. To know, yes. I, I need to know but your by thoughts. By the way, on I it. just I, I'm I'm single. But I'm single, but I'm married with my career. There you go. There and you my go. <laughs> I need to. I, yes. I need. I need your. I, I need your opinion or your thoughts on on this coronavirus thing. They shutting down. They they shutting down the NBA. They shutting down concerts. I'm not even sure if yes. base uh, if it's baseball. It's getting really season, bad. Yeah, I'm not even sure if baseball season is going to start on time because of all this BS with this Corona stuff. How do you feel now, being that you're from Puerto Rico? How do you feel about how how do you feel about the the coronavirus in general? Well, I I kind of worry, so I'm going to start taking uh, some measures, like uh, I would start. I will stop taking showers and truck stop Ooh. to avoid any Ooh. contamination or something. Oh, I haven't thought um, about that. And yes, because, you know, it's a lot of people going there and it's really like private. You know, you are using, okay, it could be dangerous. I will try not to eat nothing from the cookies. I, uh, Right now, I have. Uh, I'm going to start using like gloves, but I don't want to scare people. But <laughs> I look, listen, I, I listen, don't know listen, about- here, listen here. I am. I'm. I'm start. I'm. I'm paranoid to the fact that I am. I told. Uh, I just got finished doing an interview with uh, with a uh, bandit, and I told him that I said, "Yeah, bro. I'm. I, I got gloves. 
I got gloves. I got buku uh, sanitizer. I got a. Uh, I I don't have the mask, but I you know it's yes. it's coming to the it's coming to the point that you're gonna have to that you that that I'm wearing gloves and I'm washing my hands like religiously now. I mean I I wash my hands you know especially coming out of the bathroom which is one of the which is one of the most contaminated places there is. You know you got people going yeah. in there doing doing the one two and coming out not washing their hands not not oh, wait. sanitizing. Oh wait you never nothing. heard you never heard about the tree? The who? Well, you say that they go over there, they do number one, number two, but you never hear about the number three? Uh, is there three? <laughs> In the, uh, okay, when people, you say that people go into the bathroom and they do number one uh -huh. and number two, okay. but it's the number three. There's, it's the number three. I don't even want to talk about that. There's a number, <laughs> there's a number three? Mariah, man, you yes, gotta hit. Yes, it's complicated. You, to you, you, you gotta oh. hit me. You, you gotta hit me on the number three. Now I know a number one is is urine. A number two is poop. What's the number three? Well, it's complicated. Like I said, okay, it's really complicated. Okay. <laughs> All right, then no, we'll we'll just, just when when you know when when it's just like almost water that you stick and you just. So every every hole, you just come in something. It's, that's the number three. Oh, okay. Well, this must be a number three from a woman, because I don't have a number three. I got a number one and a number two. That's that's what I got. You have it. You just never noticed that. I, what, that it's, it's it's in another category, but you thought it was in number two. But I can teach you. Oh, okay. Well, okay, but well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get that lesson off uh off off the podcast. We we'll, we we'll, we'll get with that lesson. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, and, like, I'm, uh, and uh, I'm about to. I uh, I mean, uh, I I'm supposed to be on my way because I'm dropping and I had to go. I have a a load, mm -hmm. and uh, I just came to. To drop my trailer, uh, by the way, um, now, um, trucking, uh, the implied, they are avoiding uh, no, no paperwork. Everything's okay. going to be in email. Yeah like, e yeah, like all digital and all like that. But this, but th like I said, this virus got everybody in the tizzy, though. I mean, it, like I said, it even got, it even got me in the tizzy. Like, literally, I got... I got boxes. I got latex gloves now. It, it's it, it came. Well, it, it uh, came to that. Have to, um, yes, paper toilet. It's running out. Yeah. Oh yeah, paper toilet. Yeah. Don't don't sit on the toilet. The paper. To uh, the paper. The paper thing that goes around the toilet. I got man. Look, I'm about to go to Walmart tomorrow and stop back up on uh on some Lysol because I got to take that in the restroom with me to, to disinfect everything. You know, and now that yes. now that you mentioned now that you mentioned about stop stop showering, that's that's even scary. It's already bad enough that um now don't get me wrong, it's already bad enough that we got guys out here that's that's smelling like doo doo on a stick. Now, I mean, they do need to take a shower every once in a while, but, but yeah, I gotta, wow. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give me, I gotta give me some some Lysol. I got, I got to, I got. Like well, I said. With, good luck with that because here in Houston, mm -hmm. yesterday, I sent a friend, and she just only found five gallon of water, mm -hmm. and the rest of the stuff is gone. Mm -hmm. So, pretty much, I don't know. Pretty much, it's gonna be hard to find stuff. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's it's running, it's it's running out. I mean, you got people like I said, the 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 sanitizer is it's a commodity now. You're gonna see people out on the street hustling sanitizer now. Like, yo, bro, bro, I got that got that sanitizer for you. Oh, okay, you do, man. How much? Give me fifty bucks. Fifty bucks, yeah, man. You ain't gonna find it nowhere else but right here, bro. Fifty bucks. <laughs> so yeah, it's it, yeah that coronavirus. Mm. 
I tell you, that's it's it's uh it's doing something. I mean, it's it's closing down, it's shutting down just about everything now. So I'm I'm hoping that it's you know it, it's like it's like every year there's something something every year it never fails. It's like it's something every year. So this year is the coronavirus. Next year is going to be what you know what I'm saying. So. Mariah, man, yo, this been a ball. Thank you for coming on to the show. I really do appreciate you. It's been it's been a blast. And, by the way, my name is Myra. Myra, but I love Mariah. Oh, Mariah. Okay, Myra, <laughs> my, Myra, my, my my bad. I, I'm sorry for butchering people. No, names. that's okay. Everybody <laughs> call me Maria. Oh, okay, okay. So my so Myra. But I'm Myra. Myra, you, yes. you are now part of the LOM community. I really do appreciate you. Oh wow! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, and yo, don't definitely don't be no stranger, man. So you definitely stay safe out here. If you guys want to come on to the show like Mariah did, all you got to do is hit me up in the email. That's lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up in the Instagram and in the DM or just leave it in the comments below. Let me know if you want to come on and chop it up with me and just have a good time like me and Myra is. You know what I'm saying? We talked about Prime. Yeah, that would be, I, I hope, I hope you're ready. <laughs> we talked about we talked about prime and everything else. Hey, Mariah, do me a favor. Do me a huge, huge favor. All right. For on on the way out, I need you to hit me with some more of that Spanish. Hit me some more of that Spanish on oh, the way okay. out. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna get nasty, okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Get get nasty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Es que esta traila está del carajo, está muy pesada. Y estoy tratando de bajarla. Ah, se me está yendo el aire. Ok, what I said is my trailer is too heavy. And I'm trying to put it down so I can put my truck back. Pero fue un placer conocerte. Encantada. Espero estar en tu show uh, otra vez. So... Nice to meet you, and I hope to bring you show again. It's what I said. That is what's up. Mariah, you have a safe night, and definitely stay safe out there. You have a beautiful, blessed one. And to everybody else that's watching, I really do appreciate you guys for watching. We are gone. Okay, and be safe, and keep away from the coronavirus. Keep away from the coronavirus. I mean, yeah. Myra, you can go ahead and keep my phone number. You can call me anytime that you want, especially if I need my Spanish fits. I definitely know who to come to. Okay. All right. You stay safe well, out there. I have to. Okay. Um, I will call you, uh, or you can call me another day. Uh, no you problem. you hey my you you can have my phone number. You can call me anytime you want, day or night. <laughs> okay. So Thank you, you so much for you, you, having you, you need in to, your show. You you need to hit me off with some uh you need to hit me off with some Spanish. Woo! Yeah, definitely. Yes. Next time, next time is everything gonna be Spanish. Oh, the, oh, that's what's up. We're going to have to Just follow kidding. up on that. No, we're going to have to follow up on that one. That, that, yeah, we're going to have to follow up on that one. That won't be a problem. I could bring you in as a co-host, and you could be like, hit me off with the with the Spanish vibe. Like, Yeah, what do you think about that, uh, Myra? That's here you. Okay. <laughs> oh, that'll work. Thanks for coming on, Myra. I really do appreciate it. You take it easy, all right? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.